Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I wanted to give you another product review here. This is the compact version of the hyphen chest seal made by North American Rescue. Now this is strictly a size comparison here. This is, of course, the non-vented. This is the vented. They make a vented chest seal that's the exact same size as this, dual pack. So this is all I want to do really is compare sizes here. So you can see it's a little bit smaller. It takes up a little less real estate in your IFAC, your trauma kit, but it's still going to cover the basics because we're covering penetrating trauma here. So it should still cover the basics of what we're trying to do is prevent air from sucking into the chest. So you can see here, overall it's just a little bit smaller so for you guys that are curious I'll open up this is the non vented and this is the vented so I can show you the difference of these two different versions of the hyphen here so there again pull the red tab this opens up got a little sponge for blood and then you open this here and you pull the red tab so pull the red tab pull the red tab the red is supposed to get your attention under stress and this slaps dead center on the chest. So this is the non-vented, so it's just super sticky material that's going to stick to hair, blood, whatever it needs to stick to. So then we open up the vented chest seal here, pull the red tab, there you go, you got a little spot to at least wipe off some blood and then you pull the red tab. Now you can see here this is vented. You can see the two or uh, three tubes coming through here as well. This is so air when it starts to build up into the chest cavity or blood starts building up the chest cavity it's supposed to release and then come out of these vents here so you don't build up that tension pneumothorax because what happens is you start building up pressure and then it turns into a tension pneumothorax and that's when it becomes life-threatening and go into shock. All right, so here's a little bit closer look. This is all one smooth surface here. And you can see the vents here on this one. You see one, two, three vents. Overall, it's a little bit smaller overall, you can see there. But there again, we're dealing with penetrating trauma here. So you're dealing with like a gunshot wound, a knife wound. Now obviously you can have multiple in the same area. So this is gonna, this is gonna cover a larger surface area. But for most, applications I feel like this is going to work and it's going to take up less real estate. Another idea I had was for an EDC medical kit carrying these compact hyphen chest seals because you can't always carry your trauma kit although you may want to you just can't do it all the time but you could put like a few of these items here and put them in your BDU pants put them in a plastic bag put them in your pocket put them in your backpack your briefcase whatever that's nearby. It's got directions here written on the front of the package here also has a nice pretty drawing for you in case you can't read but there again you pull the red tab pull the red tab slap it on the chest and you hopefully will seal the chest so the difference between a vented chest seal and non vented chest seal is gonna be personal preference more than likely the vented chest seals are supposed to prevent your patient from building up a tension no more thorax which is putting pressure on the heart which is gonna cause them to go into shock so if you're using the vented, it's supposed to vent the blood, vent the air. If you're using the non-vented, you may have to actually pull it back and release some of the pressure if your patient starts becoming more short of breath. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.